What's up, family? We have some good news to share with you today. Disaster SNAP benefits have now been approved for certain areas. We also have a new proposal that wants to increase the amount of funding for SNAP food stamp benefits, requesting billions of dollars to help our low-income families even more. But on the other side, we do have some bad news in regards to the scumbags in Congress that want to take away SNAP benefits from the people who need it the most. Hopefully, you will stand up and make your voice heard. But before we get started, you already know what to do. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button as it really helps us grow on YouTube. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Well guys, it continues to rain in the northeastern areas and they are saying that relentless rain is causing major floods, which is prompting some rescues as well as some of the swamps being pretty much overpopulated with so much of the rain as you can see right here on this particular picture guys it is causing havoc all over the place where we are seeing roads end up collapsing while a car is sitting on top pretty much falling all the way over this is getting very bad guys and they're saying that the rain is still coming and we are seeing crazy stories like individuals being trapped in their cars and having to uh, pretty much swim away out of their cars to a safer area uh, this particular article talks about a woman that ended up dying after being swept away way by the flood waters what are we going to do guys it seems like everything continues to be uh, bad for individuals as well as it continues to get even worse as the days the weeks the months the years continue to go by and it seems like it all started with the pandemic back in march of 2020 and here we are guys i believe this is a uh, response to the global warming issue that we are dealing with in this country and now heavy rain rainfall is continuing to hit the northeast areas and this is pretty much causing catastrophic issues for a lot of Americans as well as non-Americans as well. We also are seeing a major flooding in the Vermont, New Hampshire as well as the New York areas and like I said guys uh, all of this is pretty much catastrophic. So anyways guys a lot of Americans a lot of individuals are going to need some help some federal help from the federal government uh in which we are seeing a little bit of that right now from some of the previous catastrophic issues that we have seen in the past in which they have now approved of what they are calling disaster snap benefits and as you can see guys just here alone this particular article is in reference to uh guam and yes guys recently they ended up having a catastrophic issues going on and in which they ended up opening up applications for disaster snap benefits and yes uh right now for guam uh, they are saying that the application period is over and now approved applicants uh, just have to wait for them to be approved as well as waiting for those particular benefits to be given out to those individuals that have been affected uh, by the disaster in this particular area. It says that the application period has concluded so now the wait begins for those expecting to receive and to see their benefits loaded into their EBT cards. Disaster SNAP applications or DSNAP uh, application process ended uh, a couple of Saturdays ago and they're saying that we are working diligently all hands on deck still to get the people who applied who were approved their benefits so we're still working on that according to the Department of Public Health. So anyways, guys, we are seeing this in this particular area in which they did report that uh, preliminary reports are showing a total of around 35,000 applicants having applied for the disaster benefit. And of those, 34,000 applicants were actually approved, which is about 96% of the total amount of people that actually applied for the DSNAP benefits. So yeah, anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that information with you because those individuals that are uh, suffering from this uh, torrential rains in the northeastern areas I'm sure very very soon once it is all over you should be able to apply for the DSNAP or the disaster snap benefits program and so just like you see right here in Guam where 35,000 applicants ended up applying for it we are probably going to be seeing the same thing in those particular areas such as New Hampshire Vermont as well as New York so far we haven't seen it yet but I am sure it will be coming as 
well as other types of disaster relief for those individuals that are affected by the recent uh, rainstorms that we are receiving right now, guys. So definitely be on the lookout of that. If I do see it, I will make another video in regards to that to give you some direction on how you can apply for those disaster benefits. Uh, but anyways, guys, moving on, we do want to go ahead and talk about some not so good news uh, in regards to those individuals that receive SNAP food stamp benefits. And that is because we just received word that about 23 Republicans are wanting to make it even harder to get the SNAP benefits. And yes, guys, it says that nearly two dozen Republicans are trying to make it harder for Americans to receive food stamps, introducing a bill this past Tuesday that would change eligibility requirements for the SNAP program or the SNAP benefits. Representative Dusty Johnson, which is the lead sponsor of the legislation that would enforce stricter work requirements for able-bodied adults without children, uh, setting up a showdown with the Democrats over the nation's largest food assistance program. Now, this particular legislation is likely to be a point of negotiation between two major political parties, as Congress is set to vote this year uh, to reauthorize the Farm Bill, which is a legislative package that governs agriculture and food programs. And also just to go a step further, guys, I just want to let you know about the state of Texas. They recently passed a bill in which work requirements are now required to receive the SNAP food stamp benefits for those individuals in the state of Texas. Uh, so anyways, guys, you definitely want to be on the lookout of this because it looks like Republicans are trying to make it harder by introducing these particular work requirements, which is going to cause a lot of strain and and a little bit of havoc for individuals to get approved for the SNAP food stamp program, as well as to continue to receive their benefits on a monthly basis on their EBT card. So uh, anyways, guys, it says that Johnson's bill has 23 Republican co-sponsors, which it is unclear if his proposed legislation would garner enough support to pass in the Senate, which has a Democratic majority. So anyways, guys, they're saying that it doesn't look like it might necessarily pass in the Senate, but however, you do need to know that there is this particular bill on the table because the next time it is time to go vote for these particular lawmakers, guys, you need to remember this. If this is going to affect you and your family and they are trying to remove the little bit of benefits that you receive or make it even harder for you and your family to receive these just to put food on the table, uh, this might be important for you when you go to the polls and decide on what who you're going to vote for. Uh, so anyways, guys, I definitely want to share that information with you. And then last but not least, guys, we do want to go ahead and talk about uh, a new proposed bill in relation to the SNAP food stamp benefits. Uh, this particular bill will actually increase food stamps funding by around three and a half billion dollars. Anyways, guys, it says right here that a leading consumer advocacy group has issued its support for a piece of congressional legislation that aims to bolster the SNAP benefits program by increasing federal funding and improving access to healthier foods for SNAP recipients. It says that in a June 16th statement, the Center of Science in Public Interest backed the Opt for Health with SNAP Act of 2023, or better known as the OSNAP for short. Uh, according to the CSPI, the bill would strengthen the U.S. government's Gus Schumacher Nutrition Incentive Program by boosting funds funding by three and a half billion dollars over five years and eliminating the state matching requirement. Now, few Americans consume the recommended amount of fruits and vegetables and for shoppers utilizing SNAP program, cost remains a significant barrier. And uh, according to Gus Nip, uh, this particular program improves access to fruits and vegetables for shoppers utilizing SNAP program by providing a financial incentive. Gus Nip Nutrition Incentivizes have a proven track record of increasing fruit and vegetable intake and SNAP which is formerly known as the food stamps program is a food purchasing assistance program for low income households that is overseen by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and administered on the state level. So anyways guys the Gush Schumacher Nutrition Incentive Program uh, which was first authorized back in 2018 allows the Secretary of Agriculture to fund specific projects that incentivize low income consumers 
farmers to buy more fruit and more vegetables, according to the USDA. And GusNIP grants are designed to help improve the health and nutrition status of participating households, as well as facilitating growth in states with uh, low participation, as well as to aggregate the data to identify and to improve best practices on a broad scale. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is just a latest proposal in regards to increasing the amount of funding for the SNAP food stamps program uh, by three and a half billion dollars. So overall, this will give uh, more low income families and households more money to put food on the table. But their main objective of this particular uh, piece of legislation is to encourage those individuals to just use the extra money to buy more fruits and more vegetables. Because guys, uh, we cannot deny that those fruits and vegetables are a healthier choice. It does great things for the body for low income families as well as all families out there. So this is definitely a good initiative, but I have the biggest question, which is how will they be able to force those individuals to actually spend that amount of money on the fruits and vegetables? Couldn't individuals just still use the extra money and purchase uh, red meat uh, as an example? I don't know the answer to that, guys. Maybe you do, but if you do, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think about this whole ordeal in regards to raising, increasing the funding for the SNAP food stamps program. Anyways, guys, this could provide some additional money for you and your family uh, to buy more food, to put on the table. So anyways, guys, overall, it is still great news to see. Hopefully, uh, this particular new Gus Schumacher nutritional program uh, does come to fruition. But uh, anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. And I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, that's all we have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a few opportunities for you to earn some free money or some free cash, such as signing up with Webull, where they are giving away 12 free stocks. And all you have to do is sign up and deposit like $1. Everybody has $1, right? But anyways, the good thing about it is that those 12 free stocks can actually be worth up to $3,000. It's almost like uh, playing the lottery, if you will, but uh, Anyways, guys, that is just one of the options down below. Also, be sure to check out some of the links of my favorite items on Amazon because today is officially Amazon Prime Day. So anyways, guys, check out all the links down below in the description. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.